Hey everybody, welcome to Intentionally Fit. This is Heather. And um, I just finished the second week of Insanity Max 30's second month. So um, there is nothing more humbling than starting the second week of a Shanti program. I'm like, you work so hard. The first week of the beginning of the program is always like, Oh, this is hard. He's trying to kill me. It's so hard. I'm never going to make it. But after that, you kind of get going. You get your month in. And then you hit that second month. And you're like, oh, my gosh. What is wrong with you? And I just want you to know that it is hard. <laughs> I love it. But it is really hard. And um, so this is the glorious mess that you get when you do Friday Fight second round and um, he says in it that it is the hardest workout that he um, he's ever done and you know he says that in two or three of his workouts um, I really believe it on this one <laughs> it was really hard but um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about um, talk to you about um, claiming ownership and it was something, it's been something that's been kind of popping up everywhere that I'm, I'm around um, different people in my Bible studies, in my, um, in just my natural interaction. And I'm realizing that we as people have a really hard time claiming, claiming ownership of our choices, uh, that we, uh, we like to place the blame on other people. We like we like to justify it. We like to um, talk around the bush and not really, you know, get clear in in what it is. And what I'm realizing is that a lot of the problems we face could be eliminated if we were just courageous enough to own our decision making. And let me let me back up and give a little disclaimer. I know each one of us have experiences in our lives and have backgrounds that cause us to see the world in certain ways. That we only have this perspective because this is the filter that we 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 look through because of our experiences, the people who have built into us or not built into us or things like that. But yesterday one of my children had did something. They um they made a bad choice. And I kind of called them on it, but I didn't really know what the choice was. And um I just said, you know, I'm a little concerned about this. And um 5 minutes later, they came back, handed me their piece of electronics and said, "This is why this has been happening." And um Punish me as you see fit, but this is it. And I thought to myself, that's what we need. If, if a child can understand that when they've done something wrong and they've claimed ownership for making that mistake, that builds character. Now, I want to encourage you that we should own all of our choices because Unless you're in an abusive situation, nobody can make you make a certain decision or um, somebody actually has power over, your, over you. But let's say I'm your, I'm your fit, health and fitness coach. I cannot force you or make you eat broccoli over a cupcake. It, I can't do it. Unless I tied you down and shoved the broccoli in your mouth, I can't do that. Um, the same way goes for, you know, I can't force you to eat the cupcake over the broccoli. See, that's your choice. It's my choice if I get up and work out or if I procrastinate all day long and don't do it. It's my choice if I say, eh, you know, today I just feel like I'm going to have a cupcake. And you know that's okay because you claim the ownership. I know the excuses... And the runaround and the it's their fault for doing it, it, it can't cut it. I, I, I want to encourage you to have enough courage in your own decision making that you can own those decisions. 
whether they're good or bad. See, I made this mistake. It was my fault. I'm sorry. And claim the ownership. Or I made a great, great decision by doing this. I kind of, I look, I can make good decisions and put that in your little bank of, you know, building up the confidence in your ability to make good decisions. So I just want to, um, the big thing today is I want you to, to try to own whatever decision you, you make. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Own the decision. It's yours. Not mine, not your husband's, not my mom's, not my, bro my brother's, not my sister's. It's my decision. And um, I want to claim ownership of those things. I want to be better at that. Um, if my child can figure that out, um, as a grown adult, I should be able to do it too. So I know you can. Um, I am encouraged by you. Uh, keep it up. I will talk to you later. Bye.